okay, jailbreak screen here. I think a lot of us have these, uh, these plays in our offense here, in our spread offense. Um, I just want to give you some coaching points of how we do it. I think it's been uh, probably the most simple play that we've put in, and we've got a lot of good production out of it. So uh, it's a jailbreak screen. We run it to, a, uh, to the outside guy, but it doesn't have to be just run to the outside guy. It could be run to number two in this picture. It could also be uh, thrown to number three. You just got to be creative with, uh, with splits. So we talk about having a wide split. Um, so the, the route itself by number one, I think some people run one, two, three, come back down. Because ours happens so fast, really the coaching point we tell the wideout is, you know, it's take one step and run flat behind the line of scrimmage. So now number two right here, he's going to block the guy who's hitting the ball. Number three is going to block the man over number two. And then for the coaching point for the line, it's, it's real simple. Set and go, run to two o'clock get on a body and allow rushers to rush. So what all that means is, so if I'm this right tackle, I'm going to set and go. Now a lot of times if I've got a five technique, I'm going to set, I've got to go inside, and then I've got to get back to two o'clock. We don't want to touch anybody on the line of scrimmage. We want everybody to get up the field. So if I'm this right guard and I've got a three technique, I've got to do the same thing. I've got to set Get in, let this guy up the field, get inside, and then get back to 2 o'clock. If I've got a shade, I can set, and I've got the easy pathway to where I'm going. So that's the coaching point for all four of the offensive linemen, the right tackle, right guard, center, left guard here as we're running to the right. What we've done with our left tackle, it's still a set, go in the direction of 2 o'clock, but now sometimes there's been a guy hanging back there as we've studied this thing. So we, we run about five, five yards and then turn back inside to get that last overhang defender. Maybe it's an inside backer. Maybe it's a guy that's overhanging the box. So coaching points are real easy. Set and go. Run to 2 o'clock. Get, get on a body and allow rushers to rush. So there's gray area, obviously, is if you're coming and these guys are coming up the field. You know, we want to block people on this screen. But if we feel that they're a rusher, we're going to be a threat up the field get to the next body. So it's real specific out here for number two, number three of who they're going to block. This guy's getting the ball. I'm going to block the guy who's getting the ball. I'm going to block the guy over that guy right there. And now we've got our set and go. For the quarterback and then what we do in the tailback, we just send the tailback opposite to try to occupy someone, that overhang player that we've had to run for. Um, for the quarterback, it's drift to the right, three steps, have touch. So as we're running through this play, and you know, it, whether it's you know a uh, third down and long call for you, or if it's a second down and ten and they won on first down, now they can heat you up. We really want to run our screens versus pressure. So if we if we do see pressure, we can sometimes check to this and we try to find tendencies of when a defense might pressure us. Uh, we found that that's been the most productive for us, even when they're playing man to man and, and they're playing tight. We'll just run flat, knock them off that run flat, knock him off that, and now we've got a lot of pressure coming up the field with that. So with the quarterback, it's drift to the right. It's not a hard three steps. It's kind of just a, a drift one, two, three, and now he's got to find this area right here. These guys are coming out here to block, you know, whether it's a strong safety, a linebacker, a free safety up there at the second level. And, and the, the other thing that we have found, you've got to have touch because now this guy is coming back into a, a, an area with a lot of traffic. Give him a football that he can catch. You know, we found out that we we sometimes put a lot of zing on it, um, and it just it's just not a good thing to do. So you've got to you know drift to the right three steps. Give him the football. There could be guys in your face. Have touch. Find that throwing lane. And now coaching point for this guy as he's coming here, he's going to find the lane. He's going to see daylight. You know, if we kick someone out there, he might see daylight in that running lane right there. We've seen this thing come all the way back across almost to the center and then get vertical. But we've had a lot of production uh, with this play, and those are the coaching points that we've used. Here it is just drawn up against a, uh, a front right here. Um, you know, so what we've said is with these linemen, they're going to set and go and run to 2 o'clock. We've not assigned them a man. On the perimeter, we've signed those guys a man. You know, if you're number two, you're going to block the man over the guy getting the ball number three, you're going to block number two's man. But because of the, the variety of defenses we've seen and, 
zone coverage versus man coverage. What we've said is we've given them coach points, set and go, run to 2 o'clock, block second level defenders. So this kind of gives you a picture uh, versus a defense, and the video will also give you a picture. But, uh, you know, it's something that you can practice, whether it's an early outs or have a screen period. Um, you know, we, we found that this guy doesn't have to be the fastest guy. Obviously, the, the best athlete you have there has the best chance to, uh, to make some plays and make a guy miss. Um, and you'll see that on the film. But it also takes a crafty guy that can come down the line of scrimmage, feel all this pressure of moving bodies going towards 2 o'clock and execute the catch and now go get some production for your offense. So that's our jailbreak screen. I hope that these coaching points help you out, and I hope you enjoy the video. And it's something that I think that can be put into your offense basically in one day.